Every purchases we have made, we try to answer two questions. Do we want it? Do we really need it? The former can be answered easily as we, I want everything, but I need to justify the need. And this is why it took so long for me to get my dream desk. The only thing that was stopping me was the price. Then came Amazon Prime Day. I could get a standing desk for $300. And with the amazing Amazon return policy for when something goes wrong, it was hard to pass. So here we are. This is our new standing desk setup. Links are in the description for all items in this video. This setup has been thoughtfully planned to accommodate both my software engineering job and personal configurations. To switch to a work configuration, I would need to plug in a USB-C cable and a USB cable to the laptop and to switch back to the personal desktop, I just need to plug in a USB cable. This seemed quite simple, but behind every simplicity, there is complexity. Let's start with the motorized legs, the flexi spot. It came well wrapped and while putting the desk together, I came to the conclusion that this is a well-built set of legs. What's more important is that it can handle my weight on top, which is 190 pounds and decreasing. It has three memory settings, M to set the memory position, and I still don't know what the A is. The great thing about this desk is that it can extend to accommodate wider tabletop. It goes from 24.4 inches to 49.2 inches at 1.5 inches per second with telescoping crossbars expands from 43.3 inches to 70.9 inches. It has a dual motor lift mechanism with weight capability of 220 pounds and under 50 decibels while running. Since these are just motorized legs, I need to install a tabletop. The Gurton tabletop is from IKEA, made from solid beach with dimensions of 61 inches in length 29.5 inches in width and thickness of 1 and 1 8 of an inch. It has a max load of 110 pounds and 4 ounces. I chose this table simply because of a solid wood construction and not from particle board. I have tried to mount the monitor on a regular IKEA particle board tabletop and it broke. At the top of the desk, I have the LG 34 inch 2560 by 1080 widescreen monitor. I chose this monitor due to its widescreen that can accommodate both Visual Studio for coding and Chrome for researching. Side by side, it has sRGB of over 99%. Great for color accuracy when photo and video editing. Not to mention that thin bezel. It is mounted on a single arm monitor with integrated cable management clips to hide those annoying cords. Mounted on top of the monitor mount is the microphone mount. I did it this way because I want a clean hover look of just having one mount connecting to the table. Mounted on a microphone mount is the Blue Yeti, an excellent microphone for all voiceovers and you can judge for yourself. This microphone is also being used for my work Skype session. Of course, you cannot have microphone without a pop filter. The pop filter reduces plosive speech sounds such as the letter P and B. Plosives is extra air going onto the microphone causing an extremely irritating heavy breath bass sound. Under the microphone, I have the Logitech C920 Pro webcam capable of 1080p video calling and is equipped with two microphones just in case the Blue Yeti goes out on me. I use the C920 solely for work meetings as it is mandatory if you are remote. Moving down the table, I have the JBL Pepo speakers. Unique looking and excellent quality. It connects to each other via the 3.5mm jack and to the computer via USB. The keyboard of choice is the Corsair K63 wireless mechanical red switches. There are not many wireless mechanical keyboard out there and the K63 can be USB in for ultra fast, 1 millisecond, 2.4 gigahertz, gaming optimized or Bluetooth. It has a wide array of transitions of lighting, however only available in blue. If you have never used a mechanical keyboard before, I must insist. It makes coding fun, however do not use it in the office as it is loud. Speaking of blue, my mouse of choice is a Logitech G903 wireless. The logo eliminates the blue color that matches with the K63 keyboard. This mouse has many things going right and should deserve a whole separate video. One millisecond light speed wireless that is only 110 grams with custom RGB lighting, on the fly DPI shift settings from 200 to 12,000 DPI and configurable ambidextrous buttons. Not to mention the 32 hours on a single charge 
and you can also plug it in to be used as a wired mouse. The Logitech G903 wireless mouse looks like a transformer, understated yet elegant. On the bottom of the FlexiSpot standing desk, I hung the Dell Aurora R7 desktop using an underdesk PC mount. The underdesk PC mount enabled this setup for better cable management as the desktop is raised and lower with the standing desk. There are many underdesk mount, but this one is super clean and minimal to show my beautiful desktop. Speaking of desktop, this is the Dell Aurora R7 with i7-8700 CPU at 3.2 GHz, 16 GB of RAM, rocking the Samsung A50 Pro SSD for boot drive, another 128 GB Samsung A40 Pro as a media cache drive for quicker Premiere operations, and a 2 TB hard drive for storage. For graphic card, I have the GTX 1080 perfect for gaming, and I'm using it for Premiere operations and After Effects. A quick explanation on why I chose this configuration was that I needed an i7 for Premiere processing. The more cores, the merrier for 4K editing. Anything above GTX 1070 for graphic intensive programs such as After Effects and Premiere, especially when color grading, 16GB of RAM is the lowest I would go to save money and it still handle everyday operation like a champ. The point of this desktop setup was to be able to scrub through 4K without hiccups. Cable management is both a blessing and a curse, as it is not easy to cable manage for someone who constantly move things around. In the beginning, I would cable tie using Velcro on all cords to make them take less real estate as possible. The problem with this is when you want to change it, you have to undo all of it. In the end, I have found an easier solution for my madness by using the IKEA Signum and just put all the cords in there. The Signum can be mounted under the desk and does a good job at hiding from plain sight when a desk is raised. However, it is still shown. Therefore, I added an under desk blind taken from the IKEA Scottish blackout blind. The great thing about this blind is that it only cost $5 and was able to be used as a window blind and a cable cover blind. This is my minimalist standing desk setup for 2018. If you have any questions on any items shown in this video or question on my setup, please leave a comment below. I always read and answered all comments.